Alex. Um, obviously, your, your reflections on that, a, a decent first hour, and then we're sort of wondering where it all, um, where it all unravels a little bit in the second half. Uh, yeah, I mean, very pleased, actually, for the, the first kind of, uh, well, up until the goal and, um, you know, the performance, the way that we controlled a lot of the game away from home, uh, especially at a place like this, which is not easy. They've had a good start. Um, and then we can see the, a kind of, you know, an awkward first. We're a bit dis, uh, uh, misshaped of it, having come out of a set-piece situation and they score a goal. Um, and then after that, we're just... Uh, you know, the, the madness of football, we have a mad six minutes and the, and the game's got away from you. And that's sometimes the Premier League, uh, but certainly something that we've got to um, get a grip of um, because it's happened twice this season with the Brighton game. Um, within that, there's a little bit of that thing where, you you know, you, 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 you want your first win. It's not quite there. You go win it up and that feeling where you just maybe just get on the back foot rather than the front foot. So key message of the, all the group is making it happen, not waiting for it to happen. I've said that for many years here. And they know that. The players here know that. You've got to go and make it happen, not wait for it. I guess that's a bit of sort of human nature to retreat a little bit once you've gone one nil up and protect, maybe protect what you've got rather than stay on the front foot, as you say. Uh, well, it shouldn't be. So that's what I spoke to the players about. They know that. The Premier League doesn't work like that. You can't wait for things to come your way. You've got to make it come your way. So... Um, there's no human nature when you're a professional uh, outfit like we are. You know, that's why you're a professional. So we've certainly got to make sure that we get the mentality right. It's not a million miles away, by the way, because I said to the players equally, you know, the, the margins are very tight at the moment. We're in, we're in performance-wise, there's some really strong signs of what we're doing, um, particularly tonight at the place that is. They've had a good start. They've got some very good players. Um, you know, and, and to do what we did up until that stage is very pleasing. But then you've got to take the game on. And, and like I say, the biggest message, I can't reiterate enough, is you, can, you can't wait for football to give you anything. You have to make football give you something. And that's what we've got to continue to work with the players on and the mentality. They know, because we've been on this road before, but we've got to go and make it up. I guess that's, that's one positive issue. You've got this experience from a couple of times this season, a few times last season, where you've, you've been in front but lost the lead and either lost the game or, or not won the game to, to turn that around and then around and that. We've got enough experience in the Premier League, me, myself, the staff, the, the squad, to know how the Premier League operates. Um, so it's about making it come our way. And just on a couple of Maxwell Cornet, he obviously didn't feature today, just in case he kind of bed in a little bit in terms of adjusting to Yeah, he's had, he's, he's had one training session. And, you know, our, our history suggests with players here, we make them, not break them. So I think that's the key, is making him be a Bernie player and allowing him the freedom to do that but I think it's a big ask to have one training session and then be thrown into Everton away um, so yeah it's about getting him used to the group getting him familiarised with how we work we'll do some analysis with him and, and kind of educate him and his English has got to improve as well of course so you know it might take a little bit of time but we're, we're happy with that signing and he'll, he'll integrate him into the, into the group sorry, very quickly I believe well, I'm pretty rounded in football, but even I can't answer that after 48 hours of being into a group. So we'll see. I, I would hope that it will settle well, and I'm sure we'll do everything we can to help him do that. Hi, Sean. Hi, Just, are you concerned at the type of goal you've given away? You know, it's unlike yourselves. Is that, you know, that strong joy? Is it you know, sort of not as strong as it has been of late? No, not really. We've had spells at the beginning of last season when it was like that, different kind of thing. You know, we, we had spells with injuries and you know that type of situation. The performance levels are actually considerably better than the beginning of last season, I think. Um, you know, it can come in fits and starts. If you remember last season, everyone was saying our strikers weren't scoring, and I said they will do, and they did do, of course. So, you know, there's periods in the game when things can change. We, we know our way around the Premier League, the group mostly anyway. You know, some new, newcomers and still, you know, bits of naivety now and again and shown tonight, actually. Um, but that can happen in the Premier League. But no, there's a, there's a bigger picture to any season's work. But this can happen. You know, you have spells where you're giving away soft goals and, you know, we had a spell when the people were questioning set pieces and yet we're one of the strongest sides at set pieces, you know, statistically. So things like that, it's, it's just, there's always a, a view of it and I have to have mine, of course. I'm well aware of the things that I think um, we need to improve on. And, and game management has improved considerably over my time here. But tonight we fell foul of that, managing the game wisely at 1-0 for, you know, maybe 
few minutes more even, and uh, we just fell foul of that. So you usually back your side when when you, they get the uh, noses in front to to get something out of a game, don't you? It's, uh... Yeah, I mean, it, well, that, yeah, I mean, that, that's that's one of the things. Like I say, you know, you, you know, you, you're playing against some really good sides, and I mean, two of the goals tonight, they're, they're giveaways from us. Don't forget, you know, we've given the ball away too cheap, and they've opened us up. I mean, one of them's a great goal, of course, a great finish, but you know, we've given it. They're they're they're, they're pretty naive for a group who's not naive. You know, they're pretty naive at, uh, errors, giving the ball away and getting done on transition twice against a team who look like they're beginning to be that type of team. You know, a bit deeper and a bit kind of defensively bound, ready to spring. Um, which the Premier League is like that for some teams, and including ourselves at times. You know, that's what we have to do to win a game. That, that, that opening hour or so, you know, the, the football you played in that time, is that you know, a real positive, the uh, sort of mixture of, of, of play you had in that uh, first hour or so? Yeah, you've got, to, you've got to play, though, to with intent to, to affect the game, and I was pleased with that, actually. It's, you know, it's not just about playing. It's not about keeping the ball. In my opinion, you've got to play with a purpose. You've got to play to affect the opposition, and we did. You know, we created a couple of good moments, a couple of good chances. Um, we did ask questions and we looked nice and solid on transition. Um, and like I said, I was very pleased with a lot of the performance. But the fact is, you're not pleased with the result. You know, I've never been naive in football. Um, you know, the result's the key thing. But, it, but there has to be a future in the performances. There certainly is. The margins are tight. I said that to the players afterwards. But we have to correct them margins. We have to get them back on our side, which we've done historically here. And we'll have to do that again. Yeah. Obviously, Nathan Collins wasn't quite fit enough. Was he going to be... Uh... In the, in the running for Saturday, maybe. Yeah, he should be back involved um, over the next few days, yeah. Appreciate that. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Hey, Sean. Hey. Um, just one for me, just in terms of um, when you like, go through sort of little spells in games and can see a couple of goals, just how difficult is it to sort of shift momentum back into your favour when when teams you know, get the crowd behind them and, and sort of have those little spells? Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's often the, 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 the question of, of the team and how it operates, you know, when they're out there. And, you know, I said to him afterwards, just that feeling of just going a little bit deeper, that kind of... I mean, look, some of this some of this is the psychology of, of pr professional football. You know, you, you, you want that first win to come your way. But I said to him afterwards, the biggest message really was, you can want it and you can you can think it's going to just come your way. It's not going to. You've got to go and make it come your way. And I think that's the overriding message from me. And we're never miles away. We know how to do that. But, you know, you, you want that win to come your way however it comes. And I think the psychology of that, it definitely has a, a kind of some kind of effect on a group. Um, but we, we're the only ones who can change that because there's not... There's not that much wrong. It seems bizarre, obviously, when you when you lose three one. But there's there's actually not that much wrong with the performance tonight, um, which sounds ridiculous. But there's not. You know, there's a lot of good things about that performance tonight. But you don't see off the key moments, and that's something we've certainly got to affect. Is seeing off them key moments.